All right, 447 now your time. And Clay, it's, grab a little little light something today as you walk out the door, huh? I mean, Feels light good. jacket, probably not going to be a terrible idea. How about it's, that? It, it's a little bit cooler this morning as you're stepping out. As we take a look outside, things are pretty calm and Yesterday, after that front moved through, we had some clouds early on, but quickly transitioned over to some sunny skies. And this was the shot over downtown Chattanooga. You can see McClellan Island back there, Walnut Street Bridge. Gorgeous shot by Lucia Lewis. So thank you for sending that in. Plus you had the fair weather cumulus clouds in the background. It was a fantastic day. It was pretty warm out there, but as we go through the rest of your Tuesday, I mean, great weather for this time of the year. We'll have plenty of sunshine and here's a look outside. A few people out on the roadways getting their Tuesday started already and the roads are looking good. You could run into a few areas of fog, but outside of that, you know, we're not having any major issues weather wise this morning. It is a little bit cooler. 46 in Cleveland, 46 in Altamont, 44 in Fort Payne. So it's been a while since the 40s have showed up here on our temperature map, and that's about 10 to even 15 degrees cooler than this time yesterday morning. So finally feeling a little more like a November and for your highs going to be comfortable. 68 in Decatur, 68 in Saudi Daisy, 70 in Dunlap, our average right around the mid 60 range. So we're just going to be a few degrees above that 71 in Murphy. 68 in Turtle Town. We have 73 in Chatsworth, 70 in Lafayette, and 72 in Somerville across northeast Alabama. Temperatures generally going to be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So very mild today, but notice we'll kind of go back down as we get into your Wednesday and Thursday as our next round of rain comes through. It'll be 59 on Thursday. And then this weekend, fantastic fall weather with highs in the 60s and overnight lows in the 40s. But the next big thing going to be the potential for heavy rain as we get into Wednesday evening, Wednesday night and early Thursday. So rain chance is going to spike tomorrow after sunset and continue until the mid morning on Thursday before gradually tapering off. And then after that, we're looking dry heading into the weekend. So let's take a look at your future cast today. We're going to be hard pressed to even find a cloud in the sky. Now, as we get into your Wednesday the morning commute looking good and really the first part of the day, not going to be any issues, but by two, we're going to start to see a little bit of that rain showing up across middle Tennessee. Now, I think most of it holds off for the vast until after sunset, um, but it'll be pretty close. I'm thinking after five, that's when some of that rain starts to move in, especially along the Cumberland Plateau and then pushing to the east throughout the overnight hours. That heavy batch comes through between about five and 11. And then for the rest of the night, we're still going to have those showers, a couple of downpours. Now, not going to be a lot of instability with this system, so we're not looking at a severe event, which is good news because this time of the year, that's when that can happen. And then as we continue through your Thursday, a couple lingering showers early on in the morning, likely to be some wet roadways as you wake up on Thursday. So that's something to kind of keep in the back of your mind. And then by the afternoon and evening, we'll start to dry out. Now we're still going to have some cloud cover, but most of the rain ends pretty early on Thursday. So here's a look at that rain onset timing on Wednesday between three and five for Middle Tennessee, five to seven here in the valley from northwest Georgia up to southeast Tennessee. And for places like Blue Ridge, Ella J and Murphy, that's likely to happen after about 7 p.m. Uh, so that's the timing as of now that may shift around a little bit, but it gives us a pretty good idea of when the rain may begin. Here's your future cast rainfall through this system again. A lot of the forecast models and trends have been bumping the rainfall amounts up with this system. Many of you could pick up anywhere from a half of an inch to even an inch of rainfall, especially from Chattanooga West. So it looks like we could get a pretty good soaker from this system. And of course, with the widespread drought, hey, we'll take any drop that we can get. Today, 71, plenty of sunshine. Going to be a perfect day here across the Tennessee Valley. Tonight, still going to be on the crisp and cool side with lows in the 40s. And then looking ahead over the next seven days. Very nice for your weekend after that round of rain comes through and then we'll continue into the 60s Saturday and Sunday before we're back in the 70s Monday. But Paul kind of looking at some of the long term stuff mm -hmm. right around Thanksgiving. I think we could have a, a pretty good shot of cooler air. So all right, something to kind of keep in the back of your mind. We went from it's fall y'all. We're just kidding to finally fall. Finally coming it's been up. a while. All right. Thanks Clay.